Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Supreme Jerk difficulty. Uh, a lot has happened behind the scenes and I just want to uh, get you up to speed. I figured instead of recording an episode where I'm doing a lot of chores and then you as the viewer are like, yeah, okay, good Saiken. Let's just jump to the results uh, in a brief second. So. Last time we were in Aspen, we are now in the Ranger HQ and I just want to highlight a few things that I did. Number one, I wanted to uh, recover from the debacle of our non-existing stag uh, animal companion. Uh, and uh, where I was looking for a stag literally at several locations, unfortunately not able to find one. However, I found something interesting. Uh, if you are removing characters via the Sergei Gradsky uh, feature or via just having them removed uh, during the adventure, what is going to happen is the animal companion uh, will disappear um, and will be left in the zone uh, where it has been removed, but um, they will still retain the original buff, albeit uh, the, uh, I think, no, it's actually the original buff. So what I did with uh, that info is I got Hogbite and uh, Lucia into just gaining a couple of uh, animal companions and basically getting buffs for free. So we're running around with a free four armor, six crit chance, um, 0.2 combat speed and uh, 30 constitution. Um, and in uh, Lucia's case, she has penetration instead of uh, the armor, uh, simply because I couldn't find another bear. But as time progresses, we're going to use uh, that. It's a neat feature, plus uh, the uh, pets are not dying inside of uh, the combat. It's bad enough to keep Major Tomcat alive and the Provost. Um, the clone can die because we can redo him, but those two by themselves are already bad enough to uh, to keep alive so that's number one number two i figured we have so much money might as well go to denver and uh, buy a couple of um, cyber uh, cyber uh, what is it called cyber tech perk so not only hogbite does have the cyber tech perk now but central has it as well and i put one on marshall Quan. And we have one in reserve, so that's 3,000 gone. Then I found out that the guy who's selling them is also selling a no uh, susception uh, clip, which is the 50% crit resistance. So both Quan and um, Central, the one we already had, and then Quan um, got the other one, are now having that crit resistance. And I just want to highlight that um, uh, Central, for instance, does have a crit resistance of whooping 100%. That means whenever he would be crit, not only does he not uh, take the crit, he takes zero damage whatsoever. So that's great, and I think that's a super good feature to keep uh, them alive, um, even though he's only, quote-unquote, at 350 hit points. Now, the next thing that I did is I figured, you know what? We have so many crafting uh, materials even laying around. Might as well uh, upgrade some of the armor because I'm not sure if it gets much better than power armor. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I upgraded the uh, power armor with what we had available. And there were a couple of re relatively cheap ones that we uh, could buy as well. So um, the armor now does have uh, armor components. And you can see we're rocking 50 armor with Hogbite. And Hogbite also does have like cold resistance, energy, fire resistance. So if we're just looking at the stats of this um, absolute pinnacle of a man, he's at 50 armor. He does have a decent evasion. His crit resistance isn't that great, but I figured he has more hit points with uh, over 500, so he's fine taking a crit um, here and there. Then we do have 60% uh, um, uh, elemental resistances. And to be fair, if I was, if I would uh, go back to Denver later and uh, find this beautiful uh, no susception clamp, I would potentially give that to Hogbite as well. Like, this is so ultra good 50% crit resistance. I would almost argue that we can have it on almost any character. I like the Sonic Admitter too much to not use it, so that'll stay there. 
But anyways, uh, point being, Hogbite uh, has 50 armor, and the others you can see are also between 30 and 40 armor. Uh, the exception there is Murphy, who unfortunately doesn't have that much armor, but I gave him uh, and a few others um, melee and uh, range damage implants in, in, their, uh, in their head. And if you just look at the weapon now, we're rocking nearly 500 damage, non-mitigated, uh, massive, massive damage. Which brings me to the third point, which is uh, weapon modification. I modified a couple of the weapons just with the stuff that we had laying around. Mainly hit chance increases, damage increases. So we're having a pretty gnarly bl uh, weapon. Even the blundered weapon is, is good. Our revolver has been fully uh, upgraded. Uh, I generally upgraded weapons where uh, this one was too low uh, because I felt level 15 is not end game yet. I generally upgraded weapons like the Polar uh, Vortex where uh, we fully upgrade uh, the uh, weapon so that it now deals 60 uh, points of damage and that's a lot uh, if you think about it. Uh, just unmitigated damage. This bad boy here has been upgraded 150 points of damage five uh, five times. So that's going to be ultra hardcore. And this here is like 500 points uh, of damage. And I think uh, good old Murphy is now rocking a not only 300% crit uh, damage. Uh, he is also rocking at almost 50%. Yeah. 45% critical uh, chance. So that'll be good. Um, so that's the update in terms of equipment and so on. Then I went here, there was, uh, I just did a little bit of uh, talks behind the uh, scenes. And we had uh, Connie Zhang here, who is an agent of, um, of, of what's her called, uh, what's her name? Angela Death, right? And uh, she basically said Angela would want to meet, blah, 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 blah. Not much has happened there really, but all of a sudden uh, we were informed that Scar Collectors are effectively attacking the Rangers HQ. And that is where I say, okay, wait a second, this is no longer behind the scenes uh, stuff. We're now uh, talking about real missions. So uh, that is where we're going to uh, just re-enter the game. Uh, be between Aspen and now we basically just upgraded gear and that was about it and now we need to defend our Ranger HQ. In case I haven't mentioned it, it is episode number 39 and we still only have two deaths. So let's take a look. Lol, okay, I thought it would be a bit more than that. Oh. Okay, we do have a massive truck and a couple of privates are getting shot at. I don't like that. Okay, now I'm pissed. That was a turret that I really liked. Okay, he rides over his own um, his own thrall there. Okay, there's going to be a mass shootout. Well, thank God we got the disco bot. I don't think that uh, these guys will actually be successful. Not far enough. Uh, we can drive it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow yeah our Kodiak is a beast an absolute beast okay cool so listen 
we're going to rally everyone not quite absolutely ready like i said his manliness is overwhelming uh he's just gonna go to over here we don't want to overstay our welcome and he's preparing an ambush so if any of these guys is moving along uh, they are in for really really bad time all of the cover positions are taken i don't like that lucia moves up uh gives herself a combat stim so that we're good for the next rounds Tries to hit the Scar Collector. Mm. Hits it well. And headshots. 310 points of damage. You like to see that. And we have uh, put him in fire. Okay, Central. Uh, let's wait with Central. Quan. Charges up, gets this uh, sprinter perk. Um, who do we like the least? Well, we don't have a lot of choice, do we? Well, we can take that overlord here. Let's start with him. Triple hits. The frozen uh, extinguishes the fire. That's a bit of a shame. Again, can't hit anything else. Might as well triple crit down to 20 hit points that's my boy i like it could mad dart someone but that's not happening not yet okay ramos first round uh, Why is this not cover? It, oh, it is. It's directly behind the tree. I was about to say that would be stupid if that wouldn't be cover. <laughs> Have you seen that? That's almost a thousand points of damage. Okay. Yeah. We should have modded our weapons a long time ago. Centro. Charges up, has the sprinter perk, gets this guy down, another headshot, and thanks to the multi kill, we are getting like what? 10% uh, crit chance, I like that. Prepares for next round, which brings us to the most inappropriate of all of them, Murphy. Charges in. And you know what? Since I don't have anything specific to do, might as well just ambush because that ah, could kill multiples if we're doing it right. Poor private up here is far behind enemy lines. Don't like that. And what is he even doing? Okay, private still standing. Good job, Etoy. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Okay, we need to deal with that scar collector machine. Wow, our privates do have a surprising amount of firepower.
All right, clone and Major Tom. Why is Major Tom running in there all by himself? Oh, the Provost for 310. Okay, nice. Nice. I like what I'm seeing. Four, twelve, can't do both. I could do that. Gold cannon. Stunt uh, the star collector. And we're hitting this thing. That's a good compromise. I like what I'm seeing. Okay, Hawkbite gets one down. Charges in and hopefully stuns this guy. Very nice. Okay, so that's one of them completely taken out. I like it. Lucia moves up. Fabulous hit. Very, very good. She moves up and... Oh, we need to reload. Good, we're way too far behind. We need to get much closer. Ramos does exactly that. Full charge. All right, Quan. Is there any place where we can safely hide? Oh, it looks like a good place. One charges up. And you know what? This guy is stunned, this guy is stunned, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of a difference. Might as well hit help this side. Triple hit. Into a kill. Nice. That new weapon upgrade definitely was worth its money. Sentry could move up to here. Decides to charge. Can't really do anything other than rallying the rest. Hopite moves over here and next turn we're going to deal with either this guy up here or someone else. Juan takes this over. And even Murphy isn't coming close enough for a sniper rifle to do anything. That's crazy. That's how far away these other guys are. Murphy fully moves up. Begins to mark the target up there. Because he's in cover. Now I want him to be hit much more easy okay well your opti laser did nothing to Marshall Quan matter of fact your opti laser was a mere inconvenience no one can 
stop the rain. Our losses are very moderate. We only took one turret as a loss so far. And look at that, the party pal is helping. Where's the provost? Okay, he just moved up and that's about it. Good. Starting to access the back line with Hogfight. That's a great hit. Oh my lord. If he crits, it is completely crazy. So much damage. Ramos almost single handedly deletes this guy. Don't even want to waste AP for it. This is much more efficient. Lucia moves up. Ah, that was a miss, unfortunate. But okay, she killed one. Fair enough. Alright, Kodiak. Overloads uh, the weapon and deals a lot of damage there. Now we're in this awkward spot uh, where we're fighting... On two fronts. Let's start with the guy up here. One definitely knows how to party. Hits and needs to reload so the second hit isn't coming through. Takes a bit of cover here. had a mini break let's get back into action so we still do have that um, that car over here but that's about it right central sprints up a couple of good hits of more hits and Ramos is moving over as well good Murphy Murphy my man what are you going to do well 500 points of damage not bad take a couple of uh, action points over and we're good This guy apparently is electrocuted and cannot shoot, so therefore he's trying to run us over. And besides the two turrets, nothing else died. Good. Ramos begins to take that thing apart. Kodiak shoots and that's about it.
Uh, threats. Comet speed reduction. You know what? Armor is already reduced, but that was a good shot. Good. Lucia moves up. Shot. Shot. Shot almost down. Uh oh. The thing explodes. I wasn't aware that that could happen. Okay, we can heal up in the base. No need to waste any meds. And wow, we got a lot of completely trashy loot here. A bit of money, and that's about it. Good, let's heal up first, and then we're going to go and find out what the heck that was. Looks like we ain't dying. What do you need, Rangers? Of course, no sense. Have a seat. Good. It was not a particularly difficult fight. No one except those two turrets went down. I Which brings us to meet Angela Death at Tahoon Homestead or Daddy's Little Secret. Uh, which I think we're going to do Daddy's Little Secret first. Stay well, let's sharp. speak with um, the guys here. So the Wolfie mercenaries apparently. Thanks for sharing your HQ. Got any questions? Let's hit we'll make up. sure that no one's Nice work. Yeah. Birds like caged. caged. But when you're treated like a Cal criminal, we're world. getting valor away from the Gippers. That was. Okay, did we, by the way, get all of the loot over here? No. I figured there might be a little bit more. Cool. All right, so listen, we now are going to go for Daddy's little secret. Uh, wait for Intel on Liberty Buchanan's location. A uh, pressable weapon is being held uh, by Liberty. Until we learn her whereabouts, we can't attempt to rescue him. Good, which means I think uh, we're instead going to go to meet Angela Death. Be shy. Let's go for a nice little travel. And I still want to do a bit of exploration. Uh, we haven't really seen the entire map yet. So I tell you what, instead of going for Angela, let me explore that southern part of the map first and I'll let you know when something great happens. All right, so we got all the way down to here uh, that's an interesting area by the way there are a couple of uh, mm, tents in the desert and then we see this massive scorpion i'm not sure if we're ready for it but we're level 20 so how strong can that thing be let's see if we can get it down We fought one, two actually, already, so if this is just quote unquote merely another one of these, should be fine. Unfortunately, it seems as if there are a bit more enemies. All right, uh, look, we're starting. Get you there. Ramos goes there. Murphy is the guy who is overwriting uh, enemies, so let's put him over here. Central goes into the center, that's why he's called Central.
Good. We are starting with getting that killer robot down. Cool. Central rallies every single one. Good job. We got the Kodiak. We could hit more than one of uh, these guys. Okay, we can get a slicer dicer, that would be great. One takes out a massive enemy. Then begins to fall back because I don't want to even stand there. We're moving forward with the Kodiak. And does that here does that apply stunt on both of them? We're going to find out. Well, it applies or stunt on the slice now. Uh, never mind. At least the slicer could be a good target. Let's just double checking real quick. This sword does minus two robots, right? Okay. Well, in that case, it's hammer time. Good. The thing is stunned. Not much more to ask. Other than slicing this thing open and since it's a difficult fight, uh, fight might as well drink. Should have used the crit chance enhancement uh, smokes with the rest. I guess lesson learned. That's a kill. And I think we're just going to ambush because Murphy can deal a lot of damage with ambushes. Lucia takes the flank, stims herself for the next rounds. Hits. Hits again. Central. Moves all the way over here. Tried to blind him. Unfortunately, the precision strike didn't come through. That is indeed unfortunate. Out of service. But we're reducing the hit chance. Okay, cool. Trap triggered, but no one was killed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Good. That Scorpitron needs to die first. Damage, unbelievable. Good, that should shred armor. 
should. Moves to here, offers a little bit of cover. Very good. Let's start with Lucia here. With the CPU. Convert that robot. Uh, that's what we were hoping for. Moves to here and stuns both of them. No? Okay. Apparently does definitely not stun both of them. That's unfortunate. Off pipe, charges up and takes out the slicer dicer. Well, not really takes it out, but stuns it, I guess. Before taking cover. Twenty percent chance to go berserk. No. We're reducing its hit chance by crippling it. And afterwards, this here should shred its armor. Okay, cool. One moves up. Tries to get that killer here uh, down. We're not really focus firing, which I might regret a little bit later, but for now it seems like a decent approach to the combat. Almost fully unloads. Good. Nothing more to say. Just good. If he's standing in the open, I can't let that happen. We're hiding back here. Nicely hit that guy. Can't reload yet, but next round we can shoot twice because reload three shot, uh, shoot again. We're taking a lot of damage. The killers are crazy. Lots of shots missed from the Scorpitron. We need to get the killers down. These guys are dealing way too much damage. Good, let's start with Kodiak. Getting the killers further down. That's a miss. That's a hit. We're healing ourselves.
and she's out of ammo which means reload next round gives a free shot sprint into stormer perk which is good a couple of free shots here take over that tank again one continues to take out the killers Ogbite moves up. Quan uses the last AP to heal. Overheals him. Which means Hogbite can stay in the open without immediately getting manhandled. And begins to move up. Central heals himself. Ramos focuses all of his energy and power on that Scorpio. We're having reload, which allows us to free shoot this guy. Followed by another shot, and Murphy oh, even has almost triple shot. Uh, marks him, this guy, for free, and then saves. Central Stormer into shot and kill and chance of taking this guy over no nope. that could have ended the battle haha <laughs> crit resist twice oh lord that was good Hogbite charges up. That's a good hit. And that's the kill. Almost. Okay, good stuff. I like what I'm seeing. Tactical new. I have become death, the destroyer of worlds, combined with a photon cannon. Um, that one is good. Already got the a photon cannon. LED matrix. Cool. We already got a photon cannon. So this here would be photon cannon number two, I, I suppose. And if you do have weird signs, it allows you to hit very, very well. The question is, we already got really good uh, gear on mostly everyone. Maybe central, I don't know, but he, yeah. He currently has the weakest weapons. We haven't found a great submachine gun yet. We haven't found a great submachine gun yet. Okay, anything else on this battlefield that we should be aware of? Oh, there are large containers. Well, we should definitely be very aware of those. Cryo grenade, um, heavy machine gun, mini gun. Okay, that's a good one. If we ever feel like the massive 
Nidhogg is, well, the machine gun just has a lot of shots. That's for sure. It's a good weapon, but I think Nidhogg is better. Plasma Hammer, specifically good against robots. And we got Plasma Linkage. What is Plasma Linkage? Oh, cool. Uh, converts. Um, it costs 2,500 scraps. Are you kidding me? All right. And it uh, converts damage into energy damage. Okay. Okay, I see what you're uh, trying to do. 50% um, chance applied shock. Great, but 2,500. Okay, that's a bit much. Cool, so Scorpio down. Let's do a little bit more exploration. And if we find anything else, I'll let you know. Elsewise, um, I might uh, end uh, the episode here. Uh, because uh, you know what let's end the episode here uh, thanks a lot for watching guys uh, next time we're going to meet with Angela death for sure I will still do a little bit of exploration down here just to see what the map really has to offer and uh, then we're going to Hoon Homestead thanks for watching guys and if you are as afraid of a Scorpio as I am then chain minigun that like button because that drives them away is at least what I heard thanks a lot for watching take care bye bye